Hello, and welcome back to my kitchen. I'm Terry, and this is another edition of Terry's Carnivore Treats. I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. We're in the heart of the summer, even though it's always hot here in Houston, and I thought for sure it would be a great time to share an ice cream recipe with you all. Now, today's flavor is my favorite flavor of ice cream. Um, and some will argue that it's not necessarily carnivore because it's coffee ice cream. And I would probably have to agree since coffee is a plant. But no matter what side of the argument you're on, this recipe is delicious. Um, this isn't necessarily a twofer, but if you don't like coffee ice cream, it's very, very easy to just omit the coffee and the little bit of salt that I add and add a little bit extra to vanilla to make vanilla or other flavors as well. So since I only like coffee, then I'm gonna go ahead and make my favorite flavor so that I can enjoy all of it. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the gadgets and the ingredients and get started with the best part. The ingredients that you'll need to make the ice cream are egg yolks, the more the better. Um, for this one, I'm going to be using brown butter ghee from Spring Sunrise. I cannot make ghee, brown butter ghee, that tastes like this, so I think I will forever be buying it. It just adds a depth of flavor that I don't think I can convey. It's not necessary, but for me, it definitely amps up the flavor. Of course, heavy whipping cream. And then for my flavor, I'm going to be using this decaf coffee and a little bit of salt and some homemade vanilla that I've got. And I'll go ahead and send, uh, share some links for the brown butter and for the coffee that I use below in the video description. Now let's go see if we need any special gadgets. Of course, if we're going to be making ice cream, I'm gonna be using my handy dandy ice cream maker. Um, I've not ever tried to make this without using an ice cream maker, but I know that there are some varieties that you can putting it in a shallow dish and then stirring it every 30 minutes or so would be one way. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't have any insight to offer there. I do know that they make some very inexpensive ice cream machines. This one's kind of mid-range. Um, I started cheaper, I went higher end, and I came back to the midline. The cheaper was just not as good quality as I wanted. The higher end didn't seem to make any better tasting ice cream. So I went with the Cuisinart one and I really love the way that it comes out and turns out. And the only other thing that you're gonna need is a whisk to whisk together those egg yolks and the butter. Now that we have our ingredients and gadgets all ready to go, let's go get started. Using brown butter really elevates the flavor of this ice cream. I would suggest to make your brown butter ahead of time so that it can cool off when it's time to be used. All flavors start with the base of heavy whipping cream. Just do not add the coffee or salt here if you wish to make another flavor. I do have this segment of the video sped up so that you can see the process a bit. Make sure to keep your heat on low so that you do not scald or scorch the heavy whipping cream.
As you can see, it's starting to thicken up nicely. What we're wanting to do is basically simmer the cream, but stop right before it comes to a bona fide real simmer. You'll start to notice the foam and a little bit of bubbles around the edges. Add just a little bit of the hot cream mixture to the butter egg yolk mixture to temper it. And then very slowly add the remainder in small increments and stirring thoroughly to incorporate well. I use the same saucepan that I used to heat the heavy whipping cream to heat up this mixture as well. This segment of the video is also sped up. The most important factor in this step is making sure that the mixture coats the back of the spoon. You will see at the end of this segment what I mean. It does coat it more and more as time goes on. In total, for me, this process takes about 10 to 15 minutes. Bingo! That's what we're looking for right there, the coating of the back of the spoon. If you've decided to make vanilla ice cream, I would suggest to double the vanilla extract addition here.
I strain to make sure no little cooked egg yolk bits make it in there. I'm your ice cream man, tell me when I'm passing by. 